vlog, it's got hundreds of thousands. Of <laughs> so this is just going to be for the YouTube vlog. Just one piece of advice that you, you told us at the end of your talk. One piece of advice that you were going to tell your son. Just repeat that. This is for my son, all I could hope, as I hope for everyone that I know. If you want to achieve something, you first have to see it. I'm gonna do prolific, I think. Which one? Okay. Yay, that's my turn. You can Bad. choose. Which one Madame, do I want? Which one would you like? I want this one. Okay. Yeah, caffeine. And then, let us know when you're done. Yes. Yes. We have some t friends from Texas here. Say hi to Chelsea. And Javon's here. What's going on? Um, we're all gonna train and we're at Gold's Gym. Um, I was gonna do just shoulders, but like I did a bro day yesterday and I wanted to do some squats. Like all I wanted to do is some squats, so that's what we're gonna do. and it feels really difficult, but it's okay. Everything is normal post powerlifting gate. I might actually even just knock it back down to 195. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Here we go. Nice. Come on. Eat. Nice. That third rope was better than the second one. Yeah. It looked better. Yeah. That's good. It's kind of ugly today, but I just competed three days ago, so it's not. I'm not even supposed to be doing this. I just wanted to. Very recent I hear what you think. My name's very recent I hear what you think. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days. a one carb waffle in a hot minute. This is the chocolate frosted cupcake flavor for PE science and it's really, really good. And I'm gonna put this into that. This is what the waffles look like with nothing on them. It's just one scoop of protein and one egg. You guys saw me just make it. And a lot of people asked me on Snapchat, like, how do you make, <laughs> how do they look so good for you? They don't look like that for me. And I don't want to be biased because I am a PE Science sponsored athlete, but using PE Science protein, I've never had a problem. It might be the protein you're using. <laughs> Again, I don't want to be biased, but um, PE Science has a whey casein blend and it just cooks like really, really well. So again, if you're not using it, you might want to get some using my discount code, but seriously, you might want to get some and try it um, with that if you're really interested in making the waffle. So you're gonna add some of this oatmeal and these are like probably the, my two favorite peanut butters to be honest. Chocolate maple pretzel, nuts and more, and birthday cake nuts and more. I think I'm feeling the pretzel today.
Another thing that happened yesterday with PE Science, I forgot to tell you guys quickly before I finish my breakfast, they came out with a multivitamin. So if you're a girl, they actually have a female multivitamin and they have a male multivitamin. I will be taking this every single day for the rest of my life. All right guys, I know this vlog is slightly all over the place and I just like forgot to vlog what just happened, but I just got my makeup done because I have an exciting week ahead. Um, week, 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 weekend, <laughs> weekend ahead. I told you guys in a few vlogs ago that I'm being coached and mentored by Lewis Howes this year. Um, and this weekend is the first weekend where everybody else in our little group, it's called Mastermind, um, everybody else, we're all getting together and we have a big conference this weekend. So it starts tonight. We have dinner this evening. I will take you guys to the dinner. Um, and the rest of the weekend we have meetings like all day, Friday, Saturday and uh, stuff going on at night too. So I'll take you guys along with me, don't worry. So I have a um, jacket from Zara on. I have this dress from Forever 21 and I have shoes from Steve Madden, I believe. And I'm having a coffee because I need one. And I'll catch you guys there. And just to let you know what we're eating tonight, there we have uh, a great privilege tonight to be in the presence of arguably the number one vegan chef in the world, Chef Day. So Chef, you want to say hi? Hey, 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 hey. 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 Person is one of the funniest human beings I've ever met. But beyond that, he is one of the brightest people in business and he's building global media brands. So without further ado, I want to introduce you guys to Rob Deerdeck. Ooh. <laughs> so Rob was a, originally a skateboarder. But it started first. <laughs> drive it off and hope for the best, right? So I had to put tape on the window because I couldn't line it up accurately with two eyes in driving and the way it was set up. So I had to put tape on the window and drive with one eye so that I could keep the line. And then they said, hey, if you go 44, you're gonna overshoot the ramp. If you go uh, 43, you should be good. If you go 42, <laughs> you're gonna come up short. And I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And so now, I, you know, and you, any cop, any normal person would back out. But like, you built this whole, you know, you tell telling everybody, yeah, it's basically the whole platform. You know, right now, like, you know, if it's gonna be real, you gotta make it real. So it's like 42, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43. <laughs> And just like, since I had my one eye closed, <laughs> I, I ended up just two eyes closed and just the silence of then just like, <laughs> and just barely pulled it out and made that. You know? And it's really expensive way to tell it. Just <laughs> <laughs> like, Ten pillars along the way, then it looks like this in between each one, right? Because your your core plan will will lead you to the same place, it's the process and the fail, the micro failures and the chaos in between those pillars that you have to achieve that never really change, right? So I, and again, it's the mastery, right? Like my, my mastery is to be able to get this better and better and more efficient. And as I speak to you today, these are all these these things that I uh, look look at and, and go for now. I still am a bit of a gunsmith, right? Where like you know, you know, most recently I'm doing. I just invested in. Bacon chips. Bacon chips. <laughs> 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 <
vlog, it's got hundreds of thousands. <laughs> so this is just going to be for the YouTube vlog. Yeah. Just one piece of advice that you, you told us at the end of your talk. One piece of advice that you were going to tell your son. Just repeat that. This is for my son, all I could hope, as I hope for everyone that I know. If you want to achieve something, you first have to see it. And you have to be like, oh, I want to achieve this, right? Then you have to plan it, right? You have to see what's going to take a plan backwards. Because once you plan it, then you believe it. When you see the pathway there, you actually believe it. Then all you got to do is do it. That's how you achieve it. I don't care if he wants to be a farmer uh, or an astronaut. As long as he learns to put a vision to it, build a plan, believe in it, and go do it, he'll live the happiest life. I do. Thank you so much for your time. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lewis. I could bet you guys that not a lot of you knew that Rob Deerdeck, the professional skateboarder and the host of Ridiculousness, guy on Robin Big, if you guys watched MTV, um, I bet you guys didn't know that he's like a multi-millionaire and has his hands in like 30 different businesses and he's like the one of the most intelligent humans that I've ever had the pleasure of hearing speak. I had no idea either. Like, I have no clue. To the rest of the world, he's just a guy that has a TV show that does funny videos. And to me and to the rest of the people in my mastermind group, he explained to us, like, his entire life system. And he is, he, like, turned to be immediately one of my biggest role models just after that talk, business-wise. So if you guys are confused as to what this event is, what I'm doing... Essentially, what I joined is called a mastermind. So Tony Robbins has them, a bunch of other business entrepreneurs who have been very successful coaching other entrepreneurs create these events. And I was the youngest one there. I was 23, and then the second youngest person was 25, and there's a couple 28-year-olds. Um, most people who do these types of things are in their 30s and 40s and stuff just because that's where like most entrepreneurs are. But I got this opportunity, and it was expensive. But at the end of the day, I was just like, you know what? I want to be in a room with people who are doing so many amazing things for their own business. And I want to be in a room with people that I look up to and that I inspire to be like because of what they're doing for themselves. And I want to be the dumbest person in the room. It's Saturday now. Um, sorry, Friday. And you guys are seeing this on Saturday. And like, I feel so... I've done plenty for myself, don't get me wrong, and I'm not going to discredit myself and what I've done, but I feel like there's so much potential to do stuff, and everything I've learned so far, like, my mind is just blown with the amazing, incredible things that these people are doing and making an impact on the world while they're doing it. So, a lot of them are, some of them are bloggers, like, some of them are in the fitness space, some of them are network marketing people, some of them want to build their own brands. I can offer a lot to these people, um, so we're also like helping each other out and stuff in terms of like self-branding and network marketing and, and marketing, and then they can offer me more information on like building an email list and like creating online courses, all things that I'm planning on doing this year and I'm really excited about because I've just never done a lot of these things and I'm just really new to the business world. I know you guys might not be like super interested in the business talk, but it's a huge, huge part of my life. It's starting to be anyway, so I'm gonna start talking about the stuff with you guys because it's part of my life and I'm just sitting here on YouTube sharing my life. Of course, you're here for fitness stuff, you're here for my personal development, motivational, like the kind of just like life revelations that I go through and I just wanna share them with you guys. So this might be a little long of a talk, but I'm making a major, major life change this weekend, like huge. This whole weekend is changing my life a thousand percent. So, I mean, I'm just gonna share stuff with you guys as I learn it, and I'm not gonna hide anything that I'm doing for no particular reason, because I'm not like trying to be secretive about stuff, so I'll share with you as much as I can. Um, yeah, and if you guys have questions, like I'll try to respond back in the comment section as much as I possibly can about them. And last thing I'm going to say, these are the samples of the shirts that I got that I'm launching on my website. It says Ignite Your Fire on it. And I'm going to put these out, I think, in this color green. And then also in black with white lettering. The Ignite Your Fire started because I was... So I started building my business and my brand because the fire inside of me ignited to just do more and be more and be better 
learn more, be a student of life all the time. And my fire was ignited and my passion is burning and I want to help do that for other people. Whatever it happens to be with fitness, your business, your brand for yourself. If you guys are an entrepreneur and you're, and you're interested in that, give me, a, give me a like and a comment in the comment section. I'm interested to hear from you. I don't know how many people follow me who are interested in this kind of stuff. Like I, this is my first time kind of introducing it. So please let me know in the comment section. And we will talk more about it if you guys are interested. And I'll find out in the comment section. So I will catch you guys in the next video. I'm going to go finish the rest of this vlog and upload it because it's 11.15 and I want to go to bed. I have a full day tomorrow. I'll catch you guys in the next video.